Hello YouTube, welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Hi, um, keep watching. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. We teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as traditional and Malaysian food at home. Yeah, that's right. We have lots of experience, three generations of Chinese takeaway chefs, as well as over four, possibly even five, we're not 100% sure, that generations of street food chefs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we know what we're talking about. We definitely do, yeah, we know what we're talking about. Yeah, but also, we're very much of the school. If it works for you, it cannot be wrong. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I, I, there's a lot of pretension around cooking. If you like doing it your way, that's absolutely fantastic. You don't yeah. have to change it for anyone because if it's the way you like it, it cannot be wrong. Exactly, yes. Just go by yourself. Yeah, go by yourself. Where to? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, King. <laughs> today, what are we doing, Mum? Uh, today, we're doing. Chicken and black beans. Chicken and black beans. Now, we've done a beef and black bean one before, I think, wasn't it? Beef or was it prawn? Anyway. I think it was beef. It was a black bean one. But yeah, we... quite, quite many months ago. More than the months. Many, many months it was ago. In 2018. A year, a year, a couple of years, quite about, a long, about quite a while two, ago. Nearly two years ago, I reckon. Yeah. It's one of our first. I was much younger then. I forgot <laughs> now. So was that. I was young and beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, so today we're doing it in the new style of our videos because before when we did that, we showed you how to do the black bean prep in a separate video and then just cooked the beef. Whereas today we're going to go through the, the steps. We're going to... What just bleeped? I think that might have been... We just bought a the new timer. GoPro. No, I think it's a GoPro. Oh, alright. What's a GoPro? <laughs> it's a camera. Oh, alright. It's like, don't worry, don't worry about it. It's not... You don't need to worry about that no, stuff. No, I'm not very good with this, uh, what do you call it, modcom, is it? Modern technology? Yeah, yeah. modcom. Modcoms? Yeah. It's a very 80s word, isn't it? Like 90s? It's a modcom. No one says yeah. modcom anymore. Oh, is it? Well, bring it back, hey. Yeah, guys. bring it back. We're bringing yeah. back cool stuff. Yeah. Show you how to do the all of it in one video. So the black bean prep, the chicken prep and then the actual cooking. But we're gonna make the chicken prep a bit shorter because we've done that in practically every chicken video we've done for the last three, four weeks. So if you don't know how to do that, I will actually link the poaching video for the chicken breast below. But we will explain to you how to do it here. We just won't go into it in much depth. Yeah, I know some people can get very angry with it. Yeah. They say, why are you showing all this? I know what to do now. Yeah. But well, you may know but the newer, the new real viewer would know. Exactly. Would not know. Basically, get your head out your ass. Yes. Okay. Well, sorry, keep looking out there. It's a lovely view it's nice where we were filming here. Yeah, it's just nice... the window. Maybe one day we'll swing the camera around there instead of us. Oh, we saw somebody throwing a ball. Anyway, we're. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get back to the video. Uh, cooking. We'll get back to cooking. Yep. Okay, so you're going to need about one chicken breast. This is going to be one portion, obviously. Uh, we probably won't use the whole chicken breast for one portion, would we? No, it's too much. It is a bit too much. because yeah. There's a lot of vegetables in this dish, as you'll, yes. as you'll find out. But you need one whole fresh chicken breast. Yes. If you can get this stuff from Morrison's or Tesco's, which is frozen. Yeah, which you is can like, get the pre-cooked one. Yeah, pre one. it's 80% stuff and it's just pumped with salt and water mm. to make it a bit more spongy. That's what the takeaways would use. Some might even go down to 60%, yeah. but most takeaways will use between 70 and 80%. Yeah. Um, so don't worry, it's not pumped with like um, plastic or anything. It's literally just lots of salt and water. We have one whole onion. No, we don't. It's half an onion, chopped. We have about a third of a carrot in there. Yeah, it all depends on what size though. This is just a normal it, This was a large, size. it was about that about that large as a carrot. Yeah. So about a third of a carrot that's that large. Yes. And about that thick. Oh, this is pointless. You won't even... It's about, I'd say about an inch thick by about five centimetres. Yeah. Five, five, uh, five metres. 
but you just, you, you, you can just see how many slices like that you can just judge by yourself though, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Go by your... Just be sensible. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's a word for it. You're going to need a quarter of a pepper, of a red pepper and a green pepper, sorry. You want both because they've got very two different flavours. Green pepper really brings out the flavour. Flavor. Yeah. The red peppers add a nice little touch of sweetness. Yes. They do taste different though. Red and green pepper. Yeah, they do. They yeah, taste very they different. Do, yeah. uh, green is more like a metallic flavour. Yeah. You're going to need about 100 grams of this stuff, and it looks like this in the bowl. It's very just looks a bit like rabbit droppings. It's not. It smells funny as well. It's str all I can say. It's a strong smell. Strong smell. Fermented. For, yeah, very much. It's fermented. not fermented like fermenting. It's still fermenting all the time. So yeah, you're going to need about 100 grams of this. We sell this on our website. Uh, we sell this on our website. We have a web store. And at the moment, as it stands, we still have noodles and rice and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's available to order. Yeah, order yours while we, the stock's there. So we've got, um, every time we say teaspoon, we're always talking in heaps. A lot of people get confused. So heaps, always heaps. We've got one teaspoon here of the aged garlic. Um, I'll link the video below. All you have to do is throw a load of garlic into a blender, put the oil level just below the top of the garlic and hit blend and then let it sit for 24 hours. Got to keep it in the fridge. We have two thirds teaspoon of MSG. Again, this is optional. You don't have to put MSG into everything. If you don't want it, don't put it in. It's yes. that simple, isn't it? Exactly. You want just it put to it taste in. like an actual takeaway, you will. Yeah, you will need it, of course, yes. Yeah. Otherwise, the black bean can be a bit bitter. It's we call it bitter, but in English, maybe it's not It's called uh, cool or gyan. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's like bitter. <laughs> it is a word in my language, it's <laughs> um, We have half a teaspoon of salt. Well, this is really salty, I know that, but that's again to really bring out the flavors of the black bean. Half a teaspoon of sugar. We've got a dessert spoon of Chinese rice wine. We've got 250 milliliters of water. We're just gonna need a couple of drops of dark soy. You can use Pearl River, um, Superior dark soy, or what we use is Li Gum Yi Superior dark soy. Yeah. Lots of people message me saying that when they get their ligumgi, it's not as thick. You have to shake the bottle. If you don't shake the bottle, the top layer is always thick. You shake it, it's thick. The settlement is inside. You need to shake it. Yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Um, every time I say shake it up, they get back to me and go, yeah, it's thick now. So you're just going to shake it. And then we're going to need some potato starch slurry, which is your thickener. Yeah, is it what you call slurry? Slurry. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yes. we'll get on with the cooking, yeah? Yes. Okay, so here's the 100 grams of black beans. All we've done is boiled a kettle and we're going to pour them over here and let oh. them sit for about 20 right. minutes. Okay. Yeah. Don't spat under. You don't need much water. It's literally just to clean them because how they, how they prep them is they lay them out in fields and they let them dry out like that. So while we're waiting for the black beans, the black beans will actually keep for about five or six weeks when prepped like this in the fridge. But while we wait for this, we're going to put the pan on the heat and poach the chicken. Yep. Right, so like I said, we're not going to show us testing the heat of the water and stuff like that. Because we've done this a, a, quite a few times in the past, haven't we? Yeah, so we just, what you what you said, we just link it at the bottom of the video. Yeah, we'll just link it at the bottom of the video. Yeah. We're just going to explain what you do now, aren't we? What temperature does the wa water want to get up to? About 180. Degrees? No. <laughs> But it needs to get to about 80 degrees. <laughs> well, no, between 80 and 90 is perfect. Oh yeah, I thought it was the Fahrenheit or said to get. I always get that to mix up. Fahrenheit, I said Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, you said it's called. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, I said Fahrenheit. So into the water that yeah. goes. And this should take between 20 and 30 minutes if you're done properly. If you do it, you can do it on a lower temperature, but for safety reasons, we say it has to be over 82 degrees to be 100% sure it's safe to eat. Obviously, yes. you can poach it to a much, much lower temperature. We would advise against that, but lots of people would do that. We'll cut back when the... Chicken. The chicken has been poached. Poached the yeah. chicken. We won't show you how to cut it up because you just, you can cut it up any way you want. Yes. And we're just you gonna can. cut it into nice slices yeah, right. across the grain rather than with the grain. Yeah, we, we will just, we will show you where the grain is in a minute. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've done it before. We can check out the video. We're just, we're just. I'm just ch telling you now. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah sorry. I'm a bit miles now today because of the sunshine is shining again. Another beautiful day. Yeah. We we'll lock up in here. Yeah. Lock up, acorn, acorn. Acorn. But we're not locked up. We're not locked up. So 
I don't know what Mum's talking about. We'll get back to the um, the recipe. So what we've got now is the black beans. We're going to drain these off. These have been sitting for about 20 minutes. So in they go. You don't really want to keep that liquor because it's full of to be full of sand and stuff. So you want to make sure you drain them off yeah. for about two or three minutes. And it's become like this, right? You can press it or you don't want to press it. That's up to you. We, we suggest crushing them a little bit. A little bit, yeah. So you get some bits being crushed, some is not, some is still get some full beans in it, okay? Yeah. We add this uh, garlic puree paste into it. Aged age garlic. Age. And you're just going to want a pinch of salt and a pinch of MSG in here. Give it a quick stir. Leave it at the ease. Do not disturb. Oh, I could smell it now. It smells good, doesn't it? Right, so into this pan, we're going to put some vegetable oil. Forgot to mention this earlier. You're going to need about a dessert spoon, uh, two dessert spoons full already. I think black beans always taste better with a bit more, slightly a touch bit more oil. When you talk, Mum, talk up there. Yeah, black bean needs um, a bit more oil. A bit more oil for it. Okay, I've just remembered something. I said half an onion. Half an onion's for the recipe on the book version of this. We want a quarter of the onion, so we're going to use um, half of what we've got here rather than the half onion. So half of a half is a quarter. It all depends on what size of onion you were cutting though, isn't it? Yeah, it's but a normal small. size, like yeah, normal oh, size. Okay, okay so mum, so yeah. in go the onions. I think that's hot enough. I can feel it from here. Okay, quarter of it, yeah, you say? Yeah, a quarter. Yeah, that would be enough. So you want to brown off, so you want to brown off the onions. Just let it sit um, a few seconds. Turn it if you like. At your own spec, at your own time. Yeah, they're starting to brown now, so yeah. we'd put the chicken in. Chicken. Yeah. Say so not all of it. Enough. Yeah, that'll be enough. Yeah. Gone overboard on the chicken here, but that's just because we're hungry. You want to brown off your chicken a little bit yeah, as well. Yeah, you can see the colour looks different now. All right. Okay, so. And the next one is. You want your peppers and your carrots. Pepper all of them in. Yeah, okay. all of them yeah. in. And the carrots. And all your carrots. All the veg is good, and five want, a day. And then at the same time you want to add your salt and your MSG. You want to leave the sugar till last, last yeah. This one, MSG, when the water's in, it will in otherwise it will yeah. burn. And then the salt. Now we're just going to... Yeah. Right, so these have been cooking for about a minute and a half, two minutes. We're going to put in the black bean now. So one and a half dessert spoons of this you'll need. Don't put too much because it actually can be quite overpowering. If you try it and it's a bit rich for you, it's probably because your takeaway. I have seen takeaways that will only put one teaspoon yeah, of this stuff in. I'm really stingy. Yeah, that's if that's, if that's what you want and that's what you like, that's fantastic. But if, if you try this and you think it's a bit rich, try less black bean and you'll get probably the results of your local takeaway. That's the whole point of this channel. It's not the best. It's what your takeaway would do. Yeah, it's, it's adaptable. It's always adaptable, just adaptable like any cooking. Adaptable to your, to your own preference. And we're going to cook this black bean off for another probably minute. You're trying to get the raw flavour of the garlic out of it. it smells fantastic. Yeah. It's, so it's been about a minute and a half. Yeah, you can smell the black bean. It smells now. amazing. Yeah. You can smell the garlic cooking off. In goes the water. And in the sugar. And then you want a couple of drops of the. Dark soil. Dark soil. This is just for colouring, really. Yeah. If you go over the top of this, it can overpower the black yes. bean. I do a drop at a time, all right? You can see the colour is already looking a little bit Darker. dark. I'll take another Another drop. Maybe one more. Another drop. Just one. Yeah, that's enough. It's all preference, how you want it. Yeah, again, if you I want. think black beans, it's nice to have a bit of colour on your black beans, isn't it? Yeah. As your sauce. So we're literally going to bring this to the boil for about 20 seconds. While you're, wait, while you're waiting, you can uh, stir up your, your starch. Potato starch. Your potato starch. Potato starch is done in a 1 to 1.2 ratio. So if I was having a dessert spoon, heat dessert spoon of potato starch, I'd have 1.2 heaps dessert spoons worth of water. Okay, so that's ready to thicken. And then once it's thick, we're gonna add the rice wine and cook it for about 10 seconds. Do it a bit at a time. I know most of them, you have uh, experience cooking with it. For those new to it, yeah. if you add too much at any one time, you're gonna make glue. And black bean glue isn't good for anything. When we were young, we used to make our own glue. 
Do they have black beans in? No. See? <laughs> <laughs> this one with a spoon on the, or with a gas fire. I remember doing it. You showed me that when yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, in the I think we need a bit slightly bit thicker. thicker yeah. yeah, black beans should be quite thick. Yeah. Yeah, the rice wine now. About 10 20 seconds for the rice wine to cook off a little bit, and that is ready to serve. Yeah. Right, so here it is. We've obviously put chilies on the top of this because it wouldn't be a um, Jack's Food Workshop without some chilies on the top, would it, Mum? No, definitely no, no, not. Chilies always bring out the flavour. Yeah. Yeah, there you are. No, I, was gonna, I was just going to take it so you could try it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's dig in. You can't go wrong with chicken with black bean. It's very subtle, it's mellow. Yeah. And you can taste that black beans as well. If you've never had black bean before, it's it's a very smoky flavour, but not like a smoked salmon or a smoked bacon flavour. More of a... A smoked beans. Yeah, just smoke. I can't explain it. Um, it's, it's smooth, slightly bitter, really, really nice. Yes. I personally prefer the, it with beef, but this beef. is really, really, really yeah. good. Because beef is a um, richer flavour. Yes, yeah, it holds up better. Yeah. So, there you go. Chicken and black bean. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button because it helps out loads. Make sure you subscribe as well because a lot of you who are watching aren't subscribed yet. So, please make sure you do subscribe to and hit that notification button so when new videos come out, you don't miss out because we'd hate for you to miss out. I'm, oh, sorry. I'm too busy eating. A classic mum. And that's about it. So yeah, we have a book out which is available to pre-order. We don't have any first edition copies left, I'm afraid. But we are having a second print run. Should be end of April, but due to current affairs at the moment, I think um, it could get delayed by a couple of weeks. Hopefully not, but I just don't want to make Disapp you go, disappoint yeah, you guys. Yeah, now. so we pre-warn you now, alright? Yeah. So again, yeah, thank you. Mum? Hit the like button and no. subscribe. And happy cooking, happy eating. Yeah, that's Keep what watching. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah.